everyone. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Tuesday, October 20th. I'm Adam Brown. On today's show, Emily Reese will talk about the Walk to End Alzheimer's event. Caitlin and Bev will talk about the bake sale that will take place at next week's Hometown Hoedown. And Rich Nation will meet with Dan Philgreen to talk about promoting the hoedown in a special segment you won't want to miss. But first, don't forget that if you are a member of the National Mahjong League, then you'll want to make sure you are a part of Shell Point's inaugural Mahjong Party on Wednesday. Doors will open at 12.30 at The Cove, the community building at the estuary. You can get a table for four or come as a single and be matched up with others. Light refreshments will be served and the cost is $5 per person. Attendees of this month's Aviation Club meeting will be putting on their investigators' hats to explore what really caused the crash of Eastern Airlines Flight 375 in 1960, shortly after takeoff. Resident Dick Gallagher will share from his wealth of experience on the Lockheed L-188 Electra and will analyze the factors involved in the crash. The meeting will take place in the Social Center on the island at 1.15 p.m. on Wednesday. On Thursday, Shell Point will be holding its Fall Open House. There will be increased traffic and activity on the property during the event from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Please note that the shopping bus will not be running Thursday due to the Open House event. Emily Reese is a program specialist for the Alzheimer's Association. She visits with Heather Batty to talk about the Walk to End Alzheimer's, a mission to end the disease by raising funds for research and treatment. Hi, I'm Heather Batty with Resort Services, and today I am here with Emily Reese, Program Specialist for the Alzheimer's Association. We are here to talk about the upcoming walk. Emily, what walk is it that we're discussing? This is the Walk to End Alzheimer's. And the reason why we call it the Walk to End Alzheimer's is that is a mission of the Alzheimer's Association is to end this disease. And the walk provides um, funds to support research, to develop treatments, and ultimately a cure. Mm -hmm. How many participants do we usually get in this walk each year? It um, has been growing every year, and I would say in the past it's been approximately 400, mm -hmm. and we would love to see that doubled, so bring your friends. Exactly. Well, our walk this year, we are actually sponsored by our community thrift store, so we do have um, a bus coming, or possibly even two Wonderful. buses coming. When is the date again? It's October 24th, right. Saturday, in the morning, and registration opens at 9 a.m., and the walk step off is at 10 a.m. But in that hour between registration and walk step off, there's going to be various vendors from the healthcare aging community. Mm -hmm. So you can find out a lot about services that are available in the area. And also there will be some entertainment and some speakers. It's a good hour to enjoy. Oh, wonderful. And how long is the walk? The walk is two miles, and we also have a short exit after um, just one mile. Oh, okay. For those that want to participate but only can yes, handle just yes. that one Yes, and walk. not everyone walks. Some just stay back and enjoy the vendors and talk and um, relax and enjoy the morning. Well, it's certainly for an excellent cause. Yes. So we will definitely be there. Thank you. And if you would like to sign up to go to our walk here to end Alzheimer's, please contact either service desk. Again, the walk is October 24th. Thank you and stay happy and healthy. I called for help as soon as I saw her. I found her wandering miles from home. When the phone rang at 5 a.m., I knew it was about mom. I see how hard it's been on her at work, and I want to help. For the five million Americans living with Alzheimer's and the millions more who feel its effects, let's walk together to make an even bigger impact and end Alzheimer's for good. Find a walk near you at alz.org slash walk. Next Tuesday, the 27th, is the signature event called the Hometown Hoedown here on the island, and everyone is invited. There will be all kinds of events, games, and entertainment. One such event is the bake sale. Caitlin Van Scoy dropped by to check in on Bev Chamley, who is baking up something here in the studio using a secret ingredient. Bev, what you got going on in there? Well, 
I decided that I better bake something for the bake sale, for the hoedown, and I appreciate you coming over to lend a hand. Oh, here. yeah. Oops, looks like I might have got a little sloppy. Uh, I think <laughs> I think you got some on me. I don't yeah. know. I'm really a great baker. I really, really Oh, am. good. Yeah. That's good. Did you, is this a recipe from Ooh. Passed Down, or yeah. is this something you created? It has a secret ingredient, and it's a recipe I got from my mother-in-law, because she owned a catering business. Okay, what and is so, the secret ingredient? I'm not going to tell you until the oh, end. Oh, that's why it's secret. Yeah. It's, okay. If I told everybody, then everybody that's bringing baked goods to the bake, bake sale for the hoedown on the 27th of October would use my recipe, and then all we'd have is oh. corn muffins. Oh, ooh, they're corn muffins. The, oops. Yeah, that's not a secret. Okay. I'm excited, though. Yep. Corn well, muffins and hoedown, they go together. It just seemed like it. Chili, cornbread. Doesn't that make sense? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. They go together. But, you know, I was worried that maybe the residents wouldn't bring quite enough baked goods, so I thought I better start some of my baking now. Okay. So we'll, we'll have plenty. Why don't you teach me the recipe? All Walk right. me through it. Okay. They're done, Bev. That's I'm it. so excited we're, to We got them in them. there. We're in the okay. oven. All right. Here, um, here's an oven mitt. Now, okay. We got to make sure we don't get Pull burned up. or anything. Right. So let's get those babies out. Oh. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh. I thought they were gonna be perfect, oh. Caitlin. Oh. oh no! That's the ugliest muffin oh. I have ever seen. But I used the secret ingredient. Well, can you? Mother-in-law, you don't think she set me wrong on purpose, do you? She Told might. me too much time in the oven. What, what's the secret ingredient? Well, I gotta know. let me see. I'll show you. I got the secret ingredient right down here. Okay, let me see. She says it's a long family recipe. She said you it was can't a secret. That. That's not baking. Well, Caitlin, I sure hope all the residents turn out and bring me all kinds of baked goods on October 27th for the bake sale, or we're gonna have or to we're sell these. Have this. this and that. You, you've got to make something from scratch. I better not let them see that on TV. Bev, <laughs> you you have a lot of good attributes. But baking is not one of them. <laughs> That's why we need your help for the bake sale for the hoedown. It's October 27th. Make sure you sign up and fill out your form at the Island Service Desk to help Bev. <laughs> we'll see you there. Well, it seems that Bev isn't the only one cooking up something for the hometown hoedown. SPTV's Rich Nation asked Dan Philgreen to come up with a great idea to promote the event as well. Something exciting and memorable. But Dan's been working pretty hard lately and perhaps needed a little time to sleep on it first. We were able to capture their conversation on camera and, well, see for yourself. Oh. break. Wow. Hey, Dan, oh, there you are. Hey, Rich, how I'm, you doing? I've been looking all over for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. I've just been cleaning up from the shoot today. Oh, that's good. Listen, I need your help with something. Okay, yeah. I need you to come up with a great idea for a promo for this year's hoedown. Hoedown? Yeah, it's the signature event that they're doing. Oh, welcome back all the all the uh, snowbirds from up yes, north. Yes, okay. yes, it'll be great. Kick it's going to be season. exciting. Yeah. So I, I need your help with this. Check all this right, out. All right, all right. The Hometown Hoedown, October 27th. <laughs> Man, they've got a bake sale. There's going to be all types of fun and games. There's a square dance. There's even going to be live music, hayride. Dan, are you listening? Oh, yeah, yeah, the hoedown. You okay? It's been a long day. I was kind of tired. Well, listen, I just need you to do this one more thing. All kinds of food, and there's even going to be a court chili cook-off. Chili? Oh, I like chili. Yes, and so it's going to be really great. This hoedown is going to be awesome. Okay. So I need you to work on, you know, the best promo you can right. come up with for this. You got it. Listen, I've got to head over to the train room and meet okay. Melody. There's something going on over there. The train okay. ran off the tracks or something, and they want to promote that for some reason. All right. So listen, do your best to come up with something for the hoedown. The hoedown. Yes, the hoedown. Okay. So you got that. October 27th. October 27th. Fun games. Work on the promo. And when I get back, we'll, we'll, we'll finish okay. this thing up, okay? Chilly. All right. We'll Good job, it. man. All right. All we'll right. see you later. Okay. Make a sale. Fun and games. Whatever. I need to take a little nap, I think. <sighs> Jeez. 
Chili. Mm. Tarnation. Well, there, there's a there's a horse here. Something familiar about that horse. That's my horse. Where did these clothes come from? And, and what's what's that cantankerous smell? Well, it smells like maybe some grub. It smells pretty good. We'll have much more on this tomorrow, so you don't want to miss it. But for now, let's check on today's happenings, Academy News, Menus, and Village Church Connections. Hello, it's time for the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Bev Chandley here with Caitlin Vanskoy, and we're going to tell you our activity lineup here at Shell Point today. We start bright and early with a 715 Health Connections class, Bend, Breathe, and Balance. That's down in the health club on the island. 8 o'clock, we have Pickleball at the Pickleball Courts. Also at 8 o'clock, we have the round robin doubles tennis at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. The stamp ministry will be down in the stamp room at 8.15. 8.30, you'll find bocce at the bocce court down at the Woodlands. We also have an 8.30 ladies golf association meeting at the Shell Point Golf Club. At 9.15, the caregiver support group therapy session will be in the conference room at the medical center. At 9.15, the memory care group will be at the conference room at the behavioral health. Open painting will be down in the art studio at 9.15. And also at 9.15, we have the shuffleboard game going on at the shuffleboard court. Match play and mixed doubles tennis will be at the Woodlands Tennis Courts at 9.30. And at 10 o'clock, the Suzy Q boat heads to Woody's Waterfront Restaurant. You do need to sign up for those outings. We have Through the Bible Bible Study at the, in the Osprey Room at 10.15. And at 10.30, we have the Caregiver Support Group Therapy Session in the Conference Room at the Medical Center. The Memory Care Group will be in the Conference Room of Behavioral Health at 10.30. At 11.45, we have a LifeQuest Living Healthy class in the Osprey Room on the island. That wraps up the morning. Here's Caitlin for your afternoon activities. Well, thanks, Bev. At 12.30, we have Mixed Progressive Bridge. That's at the Woodlands in the Game Room. And at 12.45, we have a Health Connections class, Fitness Room Orientation. That's in the Health Club on the island, and you do need to sign up. At 1.15, the Rollicking Recorderist will be in the Tarpon Room down in the Island Tunnel. Also at 1.15, the Women's Ministries Prayer Group will be in the Hospitality Room of the Village Church. We have the COPD support group at 1.30, that's in the Oak Room at the Woodlands. Another Health Connections class at 1.30, Aqua Pilates, that'll be in the LifeQuest Aquatic Center. The Stamp Ministry will be at 1.30 in the Sable Room at the Woodlands. At 2.45, we have a Health Connections class, Balance and Mobility Training Advanced, that'll be in the Health Club. That one's currently full. At 7 o'clock, we have our fall dance, A Night in the Orient, that's in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands. You do need to sign up for that one. Well, that concludes our activities for today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Hello, I'm Terry Kolath with your Academy information for Tuesday. At 945, Understanding Your Computer will begin in the Technology Teaching Center on the island and sign up is required. At 10 o'clock, our Learn to Sail course continues at the Commons Lake at the Woodlands. At 10 o'clock, the Story of China Part 4 will take place in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands, and you can sign up right at the door. At 10.15, we have a basic iPad class continuing in the Manatee Room on the island. And at 1.15, making labels for your Christmas mail list in the Technology Teaching Center of the island for those who have signed up. At 1.15, iPhone Basic Apps continues in the Manatee Room on the island. I'd like to share our new classes tomorrow. Academy on the Go number three will take us to the flavors of Matt Lachey Tour. We have a Cognitive Issues Update 2015 with Dr. Fred Sheriff, Director of the Neuropsychiatric Research Center. And we start another session of Intermediate Bridge with Susan Willoughby. It's Tuesday, so I'd like to give you a quick Pavilion Auxiliary Volunteer update to tell you that we have 
opportunities for several of our committees. We're starting a number of new things with an activity cart. If you're interested in spending one-on-one -on -one time with people having rehab, and we have many more. So please give me a call if I can tell you about some of these committee availabilities. And please look at the fourth page, the final page of the weekly reminder to get information on our next orientation. Menus for Tuesday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is chicken jambalaya with fried green tomatoes. The soup of the day is navy bean. In the Allen Cafe for lunch, the special is a ham and Swiss panini with chips for $7.75. The dinner special is fried grouper with island rice and mixed vegetables for $8.75. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill on Tuesday are snapper am papio for $16.95 or pork tenderloin for $15.95. Our menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hi, welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm Andy Hawkins, the senior pastor of the Village Church, and I'm here with one of my associates, David Pavey. And uh, of course, uh, our, our audience is very familiar with you, David, but we're introducing another couple who is going to be here in uh, just uh, about a month or so, who uh, who's, I'm really excited about this opportunity to have uh, this couple speak, Gordon and Gail McDonald. Exactly. Tell, tell us a little bit about the McDonald's. Good. Well, they will be here from the 15th to the 17th. So it's three days of special meetings That's here in, at the Village Church in, in November. In November. Right. And so we're looking forward to this a lot. Uh, I've heard the McDonald's uh, overseas, actually, at conferences. Uh, and I've been blessed by their books. Gordon is a prolific writer mm -hmm. and uh, came to fame through the writing of a book called Ordering Your Private World. It was very important in ordering my private world back in the day. Yeah, it, it ordered yeah. mine as well yeah. on a different continent. Yeah. So the Lord has blessed his ministry. He's now uh, involved with Denver Seminary as the chancellor and uh, for many years was the pastor in Lexington, Countryside Church in Lexington, Massachusetts. Uh, Gordon was a runner as a young man, and uh, he wrote a book on resilience oh. based on some of his running experiences about falling down and the courage it took to get up and start running again, for example. And so the umbrella term for these three or four days, three days, is going to be or uh, living a resilient life. Wow, that's exciting because obviously we have a lot of people who uh, might struggle with uh, various dimensions of life as they are uh, heading into the sunset season of life. And uh, it would be really good to know how to do, be resilient during those times, wouldn't it? Exactly. Now, uh, Gordon himself will be speaking Sunday morning, and in the evening we'll have a couple of armchairs on the platform, and they will dialogue back and forth because uh, they've had some experiences together that they can share with us in a helpful manner. Monday and Tuesday evening at 7.15 p.m., Gordon will be speaking. But we have a very special meeting for women only on Tuesday morning at the social center at 10.15. Actually, if you want refreshments, you'll get there at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but what's a meeting without refreshments? So we're looking forward to this visit, and people should take advantage to have this renowned couple with us for a few days mm -hmm. uh, to, to learn from them and to, uh, for them to be an encouragement to us. That's right. And when we speak of refreshments, I can't get that out of my head because uh, in the schedule, Monday evening after that session, we're going to have uh, a reception for them, and it'll be a really great opportunity not only to, uh, to hear uh, Gordon speak, but also to meet Gordon and Gail personally and have some time to get acquainted. Absolutely. So that's, the, that's it, 15th to the 17th of November that's right. at the Village Church. Yeah, and I think it's important to note, uh, as you mentioned, that Gordon is a, is a prolific writer, and Gail is a noted author in her own right. Yes, she and, is. And uh, I'm looking forward to the ministry that both of them will have to, to all of us, yeah. and uh, we're very excited about that. So join us in November 15 to 17. Uh, it certainly is open to anyone who might profit from uh, the wisdom and experiences of this noted pastoral couple, and we uh, look forward to seeing you very soon. And that's going to wrap up things for today's program. Be sure to join us again tomorrow when Don Boren gives us the full rundown on this year's concert series. And we'll find out more about Dan Philgreen's dream he had recently, so make sure to come back for part two tomorrow. I'm Adam Brown, and this has been Shell Point Today for Tuesday, October 20th. 
On behalf of everyone here at ShellPoint TV, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.